everybody. Welcome back. We're here with Senator Bernie Sanders, who's running for president of the United States. Senator, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, Senator Feinstein has said that the articles of impeachment uh, should be sent over at this point from the House. Do you agree with her, or do you, you know, suggest uh, she, su you know, respectfully put a cork in it? <laughs> Look, the issue is a, I think, not complicated. Uh, everybody knows what a trial is about. Uh, and an impeachment essentially is a trial. And what a trial is about is you hear the evidence from the prosecution, you hear the evidence from the defense to determine whether or not the individual is innocent or guilty. I am very distressed that Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader, wants to have a so-called trial, but does not want to bring up witnesses who have already indicated, as is the case with John Bolton, that they are prepared to testify. So I would hope that McConnell will allow us to hear from witnesses so we can get a better understanding of what the nature of the charges are against Trump. Well, are the Democrats united on this? Do you think, that, do you know from what you're hearing from your colleagues, are the Democrats united on this? Because, you know, Speaker Pelosi is withholding these in order to get what she believes would be a fairer trial. Right. But, uh, you know, what's Joe Manchin going to do? Feinstein is breaking ranks here. All right, I mean, I think... The vast majority of Democrats who I talk to uh, in the Senate want a fair trial. They want witnesses, uh, and they want the American people and members of the Senate to fully understand the implications of the charges against Trump. They say uh, the trial could start as soon as uh, next Wednesday. That's what I heard. Okay. Um, I was coming up. Um, yeah, I heard about that. Word is. <laughs> You're, 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 you're tied for the lead in the latest polls with, uh, it's, a, it's a Bernie Buttigieg Biden up there. You're leading in the cash. You're raking it in. Um, what's your average donation? Uh, I think it's about $18.50. 18. 15, okay. And let me say, if I, if I can just say something that I'm enormously proud of, Stephen. At this point in the campaign, we have received more donations from more people than any candidate in the history of the United States of America. The word is, we, we have heard reports, and I would like to find out if you can confirm these, that in order to sit for the Senate trial and campaign in Iowa, you're going to be using private jets at night. Well, probably one jet. I don't know that we'll use... Multiple rides in a <laughs> private jet. Yes. Yes. Um, are you going to give rides to the other candidates who are in the Senate who are... Uh, Actually, we have used jets previously, and that was an idea we thought of. Uh, okay. Those are expensive, so we thought we'd all chip in and ride together. Yeah. Okay. All, the candidates are going to ride together? I don't know. We don't, we, that's we, greener. That's greener, that's right. sir. It's not a bad idea. Exactly. A lot of people, you know, we got, I think, five senators uh, in the race, and uh, maybe we could all chip in, get one plane, and come back. That's very nice. Look, I mean, you that's should understand... Nice. It's not very nice. I mean, we, you know, I, I don't know, you know, how the media sometimes describes it, uh, especially for the senators. We have known each other for years. I think there is mutual respect. We like each other. We disagree. It's what a campaign uh, is about. All of us, no matter who wins, will support the winner against Trump. That's for sure. Uh, and so, you know, we have to take one more break, sir. Please be patient. We'll be right back with more. Senator Bernie Sanders, we're going to talk about the campaign. Stick